Um, Karen, can you come see your home? Now, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel okay? Yeah, yeah. After all the hassle. Oh. Yeah. Am I standing? Oh, you can do what you like. Standing. How do you feel? Okay. Whence came I what I am? Thou, Leon, knowest how a young child should thus undaunted be. Methinks it is a power which thou bestowest through which I seek by most resembling thee. So to become most good and great and free, yet far beyond this ocean's utmost roar, in towers and huts are many like to me, who could they see thine eyes or feel such law as I have learnt from them, like me would fear no more. Thinks thou that I shall speak unskilfully? And none will heed me. I remember now how once a slave in tortures doomed to die was saved, because in accents sweet and low he sung a song his judge loved long ago, as he was led to death. All shall relent who hear me. Tears as mine have flowed shall flow. Hearts beat as mine now beats. With such intent as renovates the world, a will omnipotent. Yes, I will tread prize golden palaces. Through penuries, roofless huts, and squalid cells will I descend. Where'er in abjectness woman with some vile slave her tyrant dwells. There, with the music of thine own sweet spells, will disenchant the captives and will pour for the despairing from the crystal wells of thy deep spirit, reason's mighty law, and power shall then abound and hope arise once more. Can man be free if woman be a slave? Chain one who lives and breathes this boundless air to the corruption of a closed grave. Can they whose mates are beasts condemned to bear scorn? Heavier far than toil or anguish dare to trample their oppressors. In their home, among their babes, thou knowest a curse would wear the shape of woman, hoary crime would come behind, and fraud rebuild religion's tottering dome. Thank you. 